The session we're going to cover today is all about our aluminium Venetian product, our 16, 25 and 50 millimetre aluminium Venetian products. Now the range of aluminium Venetian blinds that we have is quite comprehensive. As I said, there are a total of three slat sizes available. Our 16 mil we refer to as our micros, our 25 mil which could be the Slimline, Twinida, Magnaview or the limited edition and then we have our 50 millimetre classic aluminium Venetian. Got a good colour range across all three, certainly enough to help you, innate, help you to cover most decorating needs in the home. Now the Slimline is the standard and the original 25mm Venetian. It has route holes in the centre of the slat which allows you to close both up and down. And we've got a good slat overlap here of 5mm and it's a product which gives you colour coordinated componentry. Standard features include a built-in clutch at the head of the wand to prevent overwinding, plus we have the additional backup of a tilt stop which is located on the tilt rod inside the head rail. Now this is designed to limit the tilt rod rotation when the blinds are in the fully closed position. So a product that you can't overwind and damage and that's quite a unique feature in our standard slimline Venetian. You have options with slim lines, and one of the options you have is to have what we call a duoflex operating system. This allows you to have one portion of the shade closed while another portion remains open and then you can alternate between those two and you are also able to close off the blind completely. We have Twinider. Now Twinider features all the same features as the slim line, but it has a 7mm overlap. And we have our route hole punched at the top end of the actual slat. So that when you're actually closing that, and you need to close this one in the up position, you're getting much more light block out, and you're getting no view through through any of the route holes. So 7 mil overlap, and obviously no visible route holes when that blind is closed. Then you have Magnaview. Magnaview again features all the features that Slimline has, but every second slat lifts up to give the same view through as a 50mm classic Venetian. Slat overlap, 5mm, route holes in the centre, so it allows you to rotate and close off both directions. Then we have our limited editions, or what we should refer to perhaps as our limited features edition. So this Venetian blind is aimed more so at the commercial market, it's more of a price fighter, more of a budget aluminium Venetian and it's the most comparable Venetian blind that we offer in comparison to the majority of other competitors Venetian blinds in the Australian market. So standard features that we have on the slim lines, the Magnaview and the Twinider which are the tilt clutch, the tilt rod limiter, hold down brackets, colour coordinated componentry, those are not options with the limited edition. The so limited edition has no hold down brackets, no colour coordinated componentry, just clear fittings at the ends, no clutches and obviously our slat overlap is a little bit less as well. We've brought the slat overlap on our limited features edition back to three millimetres again to bring it in line with what nearly all of our competitors are doing. 16 mil micro Venetian all the same features that the 25mm slimline has, route holes in the middle or the centre of the slats, this uses the same head rail and the same bottom rail but obviously with a 16mm slat. Now the next one obviously is our 50mm classic Venetian, we'll have a little bit uh, closer look at that as well but this is the same head rail system as our timber Venetian product. Now we have covered that in a previous session, the Timber Venetian product, we'll have a look at it a bit later as well. What we're going to do now is play a very quick video which was put together a few years ago now, but it just talks through again and reinforces each of those different Venetian uh, products that I've just spoken about. So we'll play that video for you now, it just goes for a couple of minutes. Minimises the light through the route holes when closed in a downward position, unlike a standard slimline Venetian. The Duoflex option gives you two light control positions at the same time. The open position allows you to view through the entire blind. Turn the wand to close the bottom of the blind while leaving the top open, ideal for privacy where you need it, while still allowing light into the room. 
Alternately, turn the wand in the other direction to close the top of the blind and open the bottom. Turn the wand in the other direction to fully close the top and bottom of the blind. The MagnaView, when closed, looks like a standard 25mm aluminium Venetian blind. When the blind slats are opened, the slats pull apart into pairs, creating double the unobstructed view, giving the same view as through a 50mm classic Venetian. For the 50mm classic, pulling on the tilt cord will rotate the slats in one direction, and pulling on the other cord will rotate the slats in the opposite direction. This allows you to control the angle of the light entering your room. To raise the blinds, rotate the slats to the fully horizontal open position. Remove the bottom rail from the hold down brackets if fitted. Pull the lift cords towards the centre until you hear the cord lock disengage, and then pull the cords to raise the blind. To lock in position, move the cords towards the outer edge of the blind to engage the cord lock. To lower, pull the cord towards the centre of the blind to disengage the cord lock and then lower gently. The swatching that you get for the aluminium Venetian product range. All three different slat sizes are incorporated in our aluminium Venetian swatch collection. So in here you'll have your 50mm and you'll have your 25 and your 16s all incorporated here. They can slide out, so you can just have the, the deck that you're looking at in particular. And one of the things, while I've got this here, I'm going to point out, because one of our uh, um, really strong points with our aluminium Venetian product is the integrity and stability of our 25mm slimline aluminium Venetian slat. You can actually get the slat and bend it around completely, and it will still flex back. Don't be afraid to show that to consumers when you're showing them the swatch. Don't do it for the 50 mil, but certainly the 25 mil. The 25 mil is designed so it can be bent around 12 and a half millimeter radius and still bounce back to its original position. So there's your swatch, and as I said, don't be afraid to show people how durable our slimline Venetian slat is. But the actual slat is, and just some important, I think, probably technical features that are important to know um, about our slat. It's made from 6011. T3 aluminium alloy. Now it's crowned as in it's given a curvature. The alloy that's chosen has been chosen to maximize the tensile strength and it, off it offers the properties which control the bow and the camber in the coils during the painting process. Our slat is 0.2 of a millimeter thick when it's unpainted and as I said I just showed you there the crown slat is flexible enough to bend 180 degrees around a 12 and a half millimetre radius and then return to its original position without any permanent deformation. The paint finish itself is applied by Hunter Douglas's colour coat thermo setting polymer paint system. The slat firstly is washed in hydrochloric acid. This removes any oils and any other impurities that might be on the surface of that raw aluminium. The acid is then rinsed off in water and then the slat is heated and stretched through a tensile stretch oven and a series of rollers. And it's at this point that the exclusive alloy mix of our aluminium slat is really important. Combination of the mix, temperature of the oven, and the tensile strength between those rollers, the combination of all that is what gives our slat the strength and the durability that it has. Then what we do is we add an etched primer, which is like an undercoat, and we call this our chromate conversion coating. This is like an undercoat, but it etches into the surface and it adheres very, very strongly to the aluminium slat. Primer is then baked on in a chromate oven before we then do the final paint finish, which is applied by rollers, and then it's baked in another oven before it's cooled and wound, obviously into coil rolls, ready for final Venetian manufacturing and assembly process. Now, many of the slats that are available in our market don't go through any of this extensive painting process or any of this extensive cleaning or testing process. Some of our competitors just paint straight onto raw aluminium without any prep, without any cleaning of the actual slat surface beforehand at all. So we know our aluminium Venetian slat is as good as anything else on the market and a lot better than most. Our head and bottom rail. Now, these are made from zinc loom steel, which are oven baked. They are obviously made to suit the Australian coil coating standard, 
and they're items that we roll form here. Head rail is a U shape with a roll formed edge to give extra strength and stability. And then we have the D shaped bottom rail, which is fully closed in. Now this is good because it looks better, it adds the proper weight, and it enables the actual aluminium Venetian to tilt and operate correctly. A lot of our competitors with the bottom rail just have an open C-section design. So from that perspective, it's open, you see the cords, dust collects and dirt collects in there, which is hard to clean out, and it generally just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, and it's light, so it doesn't give you the best operation with the aluminium Venetian. And as I said, many of our competitors don't even um, roll form their head rail as extensively as our Luxaflex Window Fashions Venetian head rail. Again, that extra roll forming at the top is what adds strength and rigidity to the whole head rail system. And then you talk about the string ladder tape. Now, the string ladder tapes are one of the areas that competitors use to make a price difference. Now, how do they do that? Well, it's two things. It's the pitch, so how much the slats overlap, and then the spacing. Obviously, the further you get them apart, the less components and the less labour time to manufacture, and the more you have, um, yeah, the less you have the slat overlap, then the less number of slats in a Venetian. So these are things that can make quite a difference. And as I mentioned earlier, our slimline Venetian slat is five millimetre overlap. Many of our competitors are three. So when you consider that, we're almost double the overlap of many of our competitors, less overlap, cheaper blind, because there's less slat used in the Venetian. Now, our limited edition, as I said, limited features edition, is a good example of this. We made the decision to only give a three millimetre overlap with the limited edition because we were trying to compete with, I guess, the budget end of the market or the commercial end of the market for aluminium Venetians. So as I said, our standard overlap is five, micros is four, twinite is, is seven, and our classic 50 mil Venetian is nine. So I think our slat overlap is probably the best in the market. All the 16 and 25 mil Venetian blinds, except for limited edition, they have that built-in clutch at the head of the wand to prevent the overwinding. They have that tilt rod limiter as well to stop that tilt rod being forced past a certain point. Again, very few competitors in the market would feature both of those items together. Our components are colour coordinated. Now, I mentioned that as well. The wand that we have, though, is our clear wand. It's the wand that we've had for, obviously, quite a while. You can see our wand here on our aluminium Venetian here. And it's really designed to be fairly unobtrusive blend in to what's there regardless of the colour of the Venetian that you have. It's not colour coordinated, we don't want it to be, but all of the end caps and all of the cover caps for the cord lock, where the cords come out, are all colour coordinated. Except on limited edition, as I said, the limited edition will just be clear, opaque um, uh, uh, componentry and end caps. From a motorisation perspective, we do offer fully motorised raise and tilt for 25mm Venetians and 50mm Venetians as well. With the 25mm, we, we use the Somfy RTS 25 motor technology. And in the 50mm, obviously, we use the, the Somfy Seness RTS um, roller blind motor in the 50mm. But in the Slimline, you've also got auto tilt. Now, this is a battery operated auto tilt system which will allow you to tilt the blades to raise it you will still have a lift cord so to raise an auto tilt you'll still actually have a lift cord that you would pull to raise it reality is most people with with venetians are really just opening and closing the blades during the day maybe just lifting the blind up to clean measuring measuring for our Slimline and our micros. If you're on face, we're saying no need to take any deductions on the width, but on the drop, you need to take 10. If we're in a reveal scenario, minus five off the width and 10 off the drop. For the corners and bay deductions, you do need to refer to the diagrams that are in both the Skilltech manual 
and also on the pricing app on your iPad. Now, what we've got behind me here, we've actually pre-installed a 25mm standard slimline Venetian. I just want to talk about a couple of things here before I pull that down. We actually have what we call our standard bracket. Now, the standard bracket for you to fit a micro or a slimline Venetian is the one bracket, whether I'm top fitting or face fitting. It's a nice, simple, spring loaded bracket. When I remove that shade blind from behind me, you'll see that it's just a quick push in and pull back from the back, pull down from the back, and the actual head rail drops out of the actual, um, out of the bracket. It's a nice, simple, easy to fit. You can call up end mount brackets. We don't use them very often these days. Obviously, they, uh, they only come in this clear. They're not as obviously as um, nice as the other because you do physically see this fitted to the end. Do need to be conscious though, if you are using these, there is a maximum width of one meter. So this tends to be an item that you'd call up on commercial jobs more than anything. On those jobs where we can only fit to the side of window mullions, can't actually fit to the top. So that, that's when they would be called up. You can always, like lots of our products, always call up our soft shade extension bracket if you need to pack something out from your mounting point. So whether we are using the standard aluminium Venetian bracket and fitting it to that, you can do that as well. So what I'm going to do, I've got a blind behind me here. You can hear that clicking. That's my clutch in the wand just slipping around. It's not damaging the blind. Between that clutch and the tilt rod limiter in the top, I can't overwind and actually break the blind. So it's a great, great feature to tell people about. I'm also big on showing people again how durable the slat is. And I'm very comfortable to do this to my blind. And then come back and show people that there's actually nothing wrong with that. It's still perfect condition. So the slat, the durability of our Venetian slat is really, I think, uh, you know, unquestionable quality. But I want to remove the blind. Now, before you raise and lower a Venetian, whether it's an aluminium Venetian, a timber Venetian, even, even if it's a vertical blind that's traveling left to right, you want to have the blades in the open position. You never raise or lift up the bottom rail of a slatted product with it closed. It really puts a lot of added pressure onto the componentry. So obviously, I'll just release it from the bottom rail clips. I'll lift it up, lock the cord off, lock the cords off with the cord lock. I've got two brackets here, one here, one here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to push and then tilt down at the back to remove that from the brackets. How easy was that? Nice, simple, easy to remove. To reinstall it back into the brackets, I'm just coming along, hooking the front lip on, and then just clicking it back up into the back of the bracket. Really, really simple product. Now, when you are fitting the installation brackets for an aluminium Venetian, be very careful not to mount the bracket in line where we have the tape drum and the tilter. We're saying have this bracket in approximately 80 millimetres from the end, but make sure we're not going to foul with, it, with any of that internal componentry that's in that head rail. So you do need to be conscious of that and look for that when you're positioning your brackets. As I said, if you need to pack out, you can use soft shade extension brackets, you can use timber, you can use other things to do that as well. The hold down brackets down the bottom, which is our clear little L bracket, which holds a pin, which is fitted to, might have to zoom in on that one, Trev, I don't know whether you can do that, but that little pin there that actually fits on the actual bottom of the bottom rail, just to hold that Venetian from, from swinging around. As I said, they come standard, except on your limited edition. The end mount brackets are the optional, 
usually just used in those commercial environments, but again, keep in mind, maximum blind width is one metre. Okay. So that's our slimline product. Now, obviously, cords are always an issue with internal window coverings and with Venetians. When you raise a Venetian, you will have a long cord. So cleats must be fitted. Cleats must be fitted. This bottom cleat here must be 1600 off the floor. So this is a critical point. We need to have cleats so the cords can be tied off, getting them out of harm's way of children, and then obviously then that adheres to the uh, child safety legislation. Fifty millimeter classic Venetian. So we've covered the sixteen, we've covered the twenty-five mil, we've fitted the slimline Venetian here behind me. I just want to quickly now talk through our fifty millimeter classic Venetian. Now, this is a fifty millimeter wide aluminium Venetian slat. As I said, it has a nine millimeter slat overlap. It uses the same roll formed zinc loom U section head box that we use for our timber Venetian range, and all the componentry and all of the, the bits that make that product have been probably used now by Hunter Douglas now for probably well over 20 years, and they are certainly the highest quality components in that style of product that's available on the market. You have cord operated, traditional cord lock, where you have one set of cords to operate the blades and another set of cords to lift. You can control a 50 millimeter classic aluminium Venetian with a motorized option as well, and I mentioned it briefly earlier, but it's the 240 volt Somfy Senes motor. So it's the RTS Somfy motor, and that will raise, drop the blind, as well as tilt the blades. Now the current remote that Somfy have, which operates that, the ideal scenario, the ideal remote to use is the Modvar remote. It has a ball, and you can rotate the ball to actually tilt the blades nice and incrementally. There's some different brackets for the actual 50 millimetre Venetian. They're a similar concept to what we use for the 25 mil head rail on the 25 mil and on the micros, but obviously they're bigger because it's a bigger head rail. But again, spring loaded. Obviously that's the version there that you would be using for face fit, and this version here would be your reveal fit or ceiling fit. Again, our soft jade extension bracket comes into play so many of our products and gives us the ability if we need to project that away. It also comes standard with hold down brackets, but obviously the hold down bracket being a bigger slat, bigger bottom rail is a little bit different to what we use on the slimline and micro. So you'll get a silver metal hold down bracket that's available on the uh, on the 50 mil classic Venetians. If you're not able to, I guess, clip that Venetian on from the front perspective, because you do need with these product to lift it on from the front. So sometimes you may have a bulkhead, or you may have an area where you just don't have the ability to use the standard bracket. You can call up a reveal fit bracket. Now the reveal fit bracket enables that to be fitted up inside, okay? Head rail comes up and sits in there and then we come along with the bottom and we clip that on and that holds the blind in position. So that's what we call a reveal bracket, okay? Now, cutouts are also options right across the Venetian range. If you've got corner at the bottom left, you want cut out. Bottom right, you want cut out. We can offer you that with the aluminium Venetian range. I spoke about child safety when I spoke about here, when I had the slim line behind me. Obviously, it's exactly the same with any corded product. The cords have to be installed in such a way that you can't form that loop of 220 millimetres or bigger can't make that loop any closer than 1600 to the floor. You've got to have that 1600 safety factor built in with cords on every installation. Now we'd recommend the cleats are probably fitted 
at least 150 mil apart, maybe 300 mil apart. We didn't have the height available to us here to do it in this scenario, but we wanted to make sure that our bottom cleat was more or at least 1600 from the ground, which, which it is in this case. Now, what we're going to do to end this session is, again, we've got a video that was produced a few years ago, but it's still very current today. So it's going to show the installation of all of these products just to recap some of the things that we've spoken about. So I'll get Trevor to hit go on that video and we'll play that. For 25mm slimline and 16mm micro, it is important to mount the blind perfectly level. Use a spirit level to check the head rail. The installation brackets may be fitted in reveal inside the window frame or face fitted outside the window frame. Hold the Venetian to the window and mark positions of the brackets so as not to foul tape drums. Intermediate brackets should be spaced as evenly and as close to tape drum supports as practical. Attach the brackets with screws to the front of the reveal, ensuring the front edges are in line and level. The bracket location, when tilt and lift is on the same end, is 80mm from the end of the head rail to the centre of the bracket. Ensure you drill no closer than 25mm from the edge of the wall surface, as you may chip or break out the brick or render. To install the blind, slip the head rail into the front hooks of the bracket. Push inwards and twist the back of the head rail upward in one motion. The head rail will snap into position. The hold down brackets keep the bottom of the blind secured. With the blind fully lowered, align the hold down brackets with the pins of the bottom rail and mark the hole locations. Then attach the bracket. Place the bottom rail into the brackets, open and close the blind to check operation. The installation is now complete for 25mm slimline and 16mm micro aluminium Venetian blinds. For 50mm classic aluminium Venetians, it is important to mount the blind perfectly level. Use a spirit level to check the head rail. The installation brackets may be fitted in reveal inside the window frame or face fitted outside the window frame. Hold the Venetian to the window and mark the position of the brackets so as not to foul the tape drums. Intermediate brackets should be spaced as evenly and as close to the tape drum supports as practical. Attach the bracket with screws to the front of the reveal, ensuring the front edges are in line and level. To install the blind, slip the head rail into the front hooks of the bracket, push inwards and twist the back of the head rail upwards in one motion. The head rail will snap into position. Loose cords pose a strangulation hazard for children and pets. To reduce the risk of strangulation, the blind must be installed in such a way that a loose cord cannot form a loop 220mm or longer at a height of less than 1600mm above floor level. Cord cleats are provided with the blind, with two cleats used to secure the cords of each blind. Attach the cord cleats provided at a height at least 1600mm above floor level and no greater than 200mm apart to prevent children from unwinding the cords from the cleats. Once the cleats are attached, simply wrap the excess cord around them after each use of the shade. The installation is now complete. Ensure you show the customer how to operate the blind and provide them with their warranty document which is in the package with the blind. Alright guys, that's the end of the session. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.